Hey, welcome to another Retro Rocha with me, comedian Jerry Rocha. The original Retro Rocha left vials and vials of his, you know, stuff in a freezer to be regenerated. And I'm the eighth one to host this show. It's a lot like the concept of Doctor Who, but much scummier. And today I want to talk about Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Let's go back a little bit. It's winter break, 1991. I'm with my mother in Laredo, Texas at a bingo hall. She's making me eat crickets for good luck. I don't know where she got that idea. The bingo hall was closed. I don't even know how we got in there. I don't even know what game she was playing. But anyway, I was sitting there eating crickets, reading Electronic Gaming Monthly like I always did, and I come across the preview for Contra 3, and my mind was blown. Every picture they showed of the game, I got more and more excited. I told all my friends about it. I was so bummed that I had to wait until April to be able to play the game. Then April rolls around, and the game comes out. But you know what else came out? A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the past. And I don't know what went down at that bingo hall, but apparently mom could only get me one game and I couldn't do Link and Zelda like that. So I had to do Chet and Shep like that. I have no idea what the Contra 3 guys names are, so we're just going to call them that. Bill and Lance? We're going to stick with Chet and Shep. I walk out of the store with The Legend of Zelda and I remember glancing over at the box of Contra 3 The Alien Wars and I couldn't understand what I was feeling. And it wasn't until years later when I heard David Bowie sing Lady Stardust and he said the line, I smiled sadly for a love that I could not obey that I finally understood the emotion of walking away from Contra 3. Granted, that song was about him wanting to boink Mark Boland from T-Rex and not about picking between two different games, but that's what it meant to me. Decades later, I finally got my hands on the game and I think my soul had been on pause since winter break 1991 because when I finally played it, I loved it just as much as I thought I would as a kid. And in fact, another reason I think my soul has been on pause since winter break 1991 is that I think I could still rock an Arctic camo jacket and cut wrestling promos like I was Sergeant Slaughter. Contra 3 The Alien Wars is very fast, it's very fun, and it's very unforgiving. Nine times out of ten, some stray bullet you didn't even notice is going to kill you because you were too busy trying to destroy everything else on the screen. Even the dogs are like, nah, fuck these guys. The turtle from the never ending story is one of the bosses. And when you defeat it, all it does is angrily dry hump the pavement as it's dying. I tried like 48 different times to beat this game on hard mode, but for the sake of getting this video out in any kind of timely fashion, I went ahead and played it on easy mode. And that will mess with you. Playing a game on easy mode emasculates you in a way you didn't even think was possible. I found myself just screaming and crying, I'm a man! I'm a man! While taking tablet after tablet of Viagra. Now I finally get what it means to be a football coach. And after like two levels, you're like, why are Chet and Shep even going through all this shit? Didn't everybody get nuked? Who's alive except them two and their helicopter pilot? At least give me some little kid to give a shit about. There might be nothing left but we're getting her to school on time. Something that's very funny about the game is how they both scream Wah! when they die. In fact, the opening of the game should be a downer because you're watching most of humanity get nuked by these evil demon aliens, but instead it's kind of funny because you just hear tons and tons and tons of people all going It's settled. That's how all people should die in video games, books, movies, TV shows. I mean, imagine Obi-Wan Kenobi. I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out, Wow! and were suddenly silenced. But this is a dope game. The enemies are fascinating. From these insect things that try to carry you off, to this Watto looking thing that's obviously doing something horrifically inappropriate to this severed head that it's on top of. A lot of humping going on in this game. Then you have the please Terminator don't sue us moment. Then you have the please aliens don't sue us moment. There was no giant heart looking thing in aliens. So if we just put some giant fucked up heart looking thing, they can't sue us. I love that the final boss looks like a giant pom pom but also looks like the mascot of some AAA baseball team. The stages are fantastic. You have these Mode 7 levels, which seem to have been made with a... Oh, no, no, no. Let's see if we can actually try to kill the person playing it. Making him puke is not enough. Mentality. But they're still fun! One level takes you from riding this badass futuristic hover motorcycle to playing Frogger with flying...
flying missiles. That's all in one level. Those are lifetimes worth of memories in three little minutes. If after you play it, you don't try to grow out a mullet with whatever is left of your hair and do nothing but wear muscle shirts and those tactical sunglasses they sell on TV for $19.99, I don't know what to tell you. Enjoy being dead inside. Contra 3 The Alien Wars is well worth your time. I'm so happy that even after decades, I was finally able to play this game. Next up, I'm going to see what this Beatlemania was all about. Thank you for watching another Retro Rocha with me, comedian Jerry Rocha. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, click that little bell thing so you're notified every time a video comes out. Is there a game you want me to talk about or you just want to talk about a game? Email me, rocha at retrorocha.com. And oh yeah, just know that if alien demons do come and nuke us all, I'll be right there with you going, wow. Oh, and another thing, the past is where it's at. <laughs> Ooh. Patty's disease. I'm a man. I'm a man.